Welcome back to the farm, everybody. We got to get some plants grown today in this field right over here. So if you're new here, this is day three on the farm. The other two days are linked up in the playlist. So you can always go uh, pause this video, go back, check that out. Buying that land is something that's gonna be on my top priority, but it seems like I have a bunch of things um, that's on the top top of the list. Um, let's see here. The the Moo Moos are doing good. They are pretty messy, and I think on the last episode, I think I grabbed um, grass. I don't know what I grabbed, and I dumped it here. So we're gonna have to get this cleaned up later on. Hopefully, we can get to that. And it looks like they already have like I think 2,000 liters of milk. Um, the problem with that is we c I can buy a trailer, but I'm trying to get that piece of land. So I'm struggling back and forth on what to get. So I guess you can't win them all. So what I'm going to be doing is getting this field growing uh, we'll just put soybeans down so I'll probably get about halfway done or so and then I'll hire a worker and he'll come back or she will finish off whatever I need to do so I've been looking into what else can I make money the fastest and easiest way? And I seen orchards are on there. And it's a being the perfect thing to probably get into because the cows already have manure, right? So that that's probably something in the future. Uh, they're roughly about twenty five thousand, I want to say. So they're not very much money like I thought, but the problem is going to take me a little bit to build it back up. So, and then I think I do need to get a water, um, tank, uh, tank mover. So let me come actually here. Would it be, yeah, I see, see, this one is what I want because they can move milk. And this one only does water. So... I like to try to save up that money for that one so that we can get both of them. But I think the orchard might come. Um, if it's not going to be done in this episode, it's going to be done probably in the next episode. Depending on how much money we can get for that. I did look on the contract list to see any other farmers need help. And you can see on field 6 that I think they're needing uh, planted potatoes. It's like 57000 so that would definitely help out with money, but that's probably going to be a long, long process to get that done. So, I don't know about that. And I don't really want to do another contract right away, because I just did it in the last episode. I think that I need to get this stuff planted. Because we started collecting our own money. And obviously I'm putting soybeans down. Because I think soybeans are pretty good at money production. What else needed to be done here? Uh, the silage. I was working on that silage on the trailer. And for some reason, when I picked up all of that um, straw... I didn't realize that I could have gave that to the cows. So, I need to get that back. I guess we can always buy bales at the store, and it might be probably be done. So, but let me get this planted as much as possible, and then I'll see you guys when we're about halfway done.
All right. I uh, worked a couple of uh, in-game hours. It's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to let this worker. Yeah, he's a man. I'm going to let this guy finish what I didn't get done. I did a couple of strips on that end of the field. So when he gets down there, he doesn't freak out with the defense. So while I'm kind of sitting there in the tractor, I'm trying to figure out what can I do to buy that land. Now, there's a couple options. Obviously, I can do a contracts. Um, two, I can just wait and make the money off of these fields. Or three, uh, go take this truck in and go trade it in. I don't know if I really need it on the farm. But obviously, in the future, I will probably buy a bigger truck but I don't see if I need any knees for it so let me know down in the comments below what you would do or what I should do I'm curious the other thing too is I saw that he needed uh, let's just jump over this for fences here well it's this is ruined and I think he's paying out let me just get to that menu real quick about three, th he's about three thousand to uh, cultivate all of this. The problem that I have with that is it's gonna take a little bit to get this cultivated because I don't really want to rent out equipment because it's not three thousand is not a lot of money. So I was gonna use mine. It's a pretty good sized cultivator, but it's just gonna take a little bit. So. I'm going to try to get some other things done uh, around that I have not done. And if I have time, we'll probably pick up that contract and work on that. Probably finish some of the silage. And I, I didn't realize there was that much silage in this thing. It would be nice if I had a bigger bucket. But don't have that. Because here in a couple of days, we're going to get that backfield mode again. That's another thing I'm thinking is I think we need hay. Um, and so I have to buy. Oh, I'm gonna rip that thing off. I have to buy another piece of equipment. So that's that's the, the, the dilemma is I want to get that field, but I have to buy all this other equipment. So I guess I'll just take it day by day and see how far we can go. So I know I can sell this silage. We can always make more, too. That's a good thing. If we have grass, so we can always make more. So let me see how far I can get this loaded. All right, finally, I think it got fully loaded here. Dump that right back in there. All right, so before I do anything, I am going to get these cows cleaned up and I think let me pick up all of this grass real quick I think the other one is what uh, I don't know what it is alright so there's the grass hmm this would probably dump it right here and they'll just keep eating it so we're picking up their field. So I can just feed them with their field. Sounds lovely, don't it? There you go. New moves. This is your field. Right, they don't care. They're like, whatever, just feed me. Or I ain't gonna produce nothing for you. Alright, so. They should be clean, and then the hay and silage will top them off with that thing. Yeah, you can see that the TMR is it's not going to be happening. So 21,000 liters of silage here. I guess with everything left over, we'll sell it to the barn. I think that they think they can take silage there. All right, that's how much they take here.
That's a 34%? Wow. That is a lot. Actually, let me pull off right here. So I can not have traffic stop. Now, that one was straw. So which one do you think is gonna take silage? We're gonna try this one again. Seven, seventy-two hundred. Let's see what it gives us. Hopefully this is it. So I think one's a barn and one is a co-op. Yes, okay. So when we sell, I don't know what that one takes. Twenty-five hundred bucks for thirty percent of a trailer load. Yeah, we ain't coming back here today. So, all right, we got money right there too. Oh, almost took out their gate. Yeah, we're not coming back today to the selling point. All right, so let's get some lime on this field. And I, and I, I mean, I'm guaranteed to buy a weeder. So we'll look into the store after I get this lime, just to see how much it's gonna cost us. So I think with 600 liters, it's not going to last very long. So we're going to be going back and forth and back and forth to the shop. Alright, so if I start right here, where does that put us? Okay. I can probably go a little bit to the left. So far, I can go to the left. About right there. Okay. Yeah. See, this is not a a very wide spreader. Question is, can I make it all the way to the other end? Oh, what is what is lime? Why do you use it on crop? All right, well, I will see when I get this done. But I know it's gonna take me a little bit. I'm gonna be going back and forth, back and forth to the shop to fill up this lime. All right, so we made it to right there. So it's not, it doesn't even do the full amount. Normal. 
Wow, already? Well then, it's funny how that side got run into. Well, it looks like the next episode we're going to be uh, harvesting. All right, I got the uh, liming done. Took a while. I think it took two and a half pallets or bags to get this done. And you can see that um, we got weeds. So I was gonna go fill up this limer, but I'll worry about that at another time. Looks like we need to go to the store and get this filled with weeded before anything else gets too big. Oh. Okay. Leave that right there. Get that tractor out of the way. But man, it, I have the plant growth on normal. I think maybe eventually, once I get this map rolling and we start kind of keeping with the money and stuff like that, I'll probably go to difficult. But we need to top this off too. So I'm gonna park this, not in the barn or underneath the, the porch, whatever you want to call it. I'll leave it right here so that I know that this needs to be attended to. But, and I'm thinking, alright, so we got, I have almost 150,000. Man, I really want that land, but I guess the first thing first is take care of the property that we already have. So I'm not going to buy the most expensive weeder, but. I'm going to buy one that's actually long enough, big enough, to get the job done much easier. Because that limer, that sucked. Like I said, I think I did, I don't know how many trips, but I can tell you that I, uh, I knocked out two and a half of those lime containers. And that's going to be a thing that will be updated, but that won't be for a while. All right. Weeders. Um, I mean, that $800 one does look nice. Hand weeder. Um, what's that? 6, 15, 12, and 9. I think it's going to be this one right here. 18,000 for it. But I will see when this is almost done.
Yeah. Okay. So now this field is 100% lined, 100% all everything else. So, let's put this back, and we're showing about 6.30. So technically, I got about another 30 minute in gameplay. Um, I think I'm going to probably call it a day. There's not really much more I can do besides start and then stop. Just get this other new equipment that we bought here. All right. So, please let me know down in the comments below two things. One, should I sell that little pickup truck to make some extra cash to buy this? build for and two should I use a loading wagon to pick this up now, what do you feel about it how do you feel about it let me know down below and then I'll uh, determine what I should be doing in the next episode and if you're new here uh, consider subscribing don't forget that bell so you don't miss out on the next one and again uh, put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about those two options. But until next time, we will see you all later.